Hello, you're watching Death Mentor, an assassin's survival guide. Today we're talking about the assassin character build. Uh, in particular, the archer assassin character build, and specifically the one that I've been using for Centrosi. At this point, uh, I've actually reached the end of the Dragonborn quest line, defeated Mirak, so if you don't want to know what happens after defeating Mirak, I would say shut this sucker down and come back later after you've done the mission yourself. The reason that I have chose to do this little character build piece here at, at this time is because at the end of this uh, Dragonborn quest line, you actually get to respec your perks. And this seemed like a great opportunity to do it. I had been getting some questions from people about what this character build looked like and how I created this character, why I did some of the things that I did. It seemed to me that this was a perfect opportunity to talk about it because uh, there are really some things that I am going to respec here, some mistakes I think I made along the way, some things I've learned uh, in recent months that I want to change. So this is the perfect opportunity to do that and um, kind of explain why I did it. I think the first thing to mention is that uh, if you're not familiar with this character, Centrosi, he is uh, predominantly an archer assassin, he is a vampire, and he's also a red guard. Now, obviously, he wasn't always a vampire. That is something that happened as part of the Dawn Guard quest line. Um, so, why did I pick this? Why did I pick Red Guard? Well, there's a couple of different reasons. One of the big ones is the adrenaline rush power that Red Guard get. Adrenaline rush basically allows you once per day to regenerate stamina at ten times the normal rate. At low levels, this is fantastic for an archer because if you have not played an archer before, many of the abilities, um, that an archer uses all the time are really based on stamina. So when you slow down time, when you use um, you know that feature where you can kind of slow time down, it helps you uh, hit your targets, helps you aim a little bit better when things are going crazy. That is a constant draw on stamina. So if you get into a pinch at low levels, it's great to just break out the adrenaline rush power, fire that thing off, and, you know, you can kind of fight your way out of some pretty sticky situations just because it allows you to stay in that sort of slow time mode uh, quite a bit longer than other character types. The other advantage of Red Guard is that they get some bonuses on one-handed. I think it's a plus 10 on one-handed, which is fantastic for an assassin-type character. Really, the only way that you can level up the amount of damage that you do with your daggers is through one-handed or marksman potions. Beyond that, you are really looking at taking stealth perks to to change things. So, you know, um, buying levels, buying, uh, you know, extra perks and so forth, or damage perks in one-handed to help your dagger damage isn't going to help. Really, the only thing that helps is that base level uh, perk in one-handed. I believe there's five levels of, of uh, armsmen, I believe. Five levels of armsmen. That will help increase your dagger damage. So that plus 10 is nice to start with. It gives you a, a little boost at the beginning. You can also get a plus 5 on archery, which is great. There are some character types that don't have that. So that's kind of my reasoning for trying the red guard here. In the past, I have done this build using uh, Bosmer or Wood Elves. They're fantastic for this, of course. And if you want to go more of a magic sort of archery combination route, you could also go with a Breton. So looking here, if you look at this, I'm kind of respecing here. There are some mistakes that I made early on, uh, some things that I want to rectify. One of those is one wasted perk in pickpocket. There was a time with this character that I envisioned myself using Poisoner to see what I could do there. I was really working hard on gaining perks and levels in Alchemy, and I was thinking about Poisoner. Well, I just haven't used it, so I'm going to reclaim that perk there, that lost perk. Also, I actually reclaimed uh, two perks 
In the smithing tree, one perk that I reca- regained was dwarven smithing because uh, initially I took dwarven smithing because I wanted to uh, smith up the Zephyr bow. However, I almost never use Zephyr, so I'm reclaiming that perk. Uh, the other thing I'm reclaiming is advanced armors because there was a point at which I was under the impression that um, taking advanced armors would give me the ability to further improve my leather armor, and that when I learned that that's not the case, I regretted having purchased that perk. So I took that one back as well. Now here, this is the most important constellation of all, archery. I highly, highly recommend all five levels in Overdraw. A level in Eagle Eye, I took one level in Steady Hand. I don't feel I need two. One seemed like enough. Power Shot is great. That's what gives you the stagger. That is going to save your butt time after time. And then Quick Shot just increases your your uh, draw speed a little bit. Actually, what it increases, I think, is the t- is it decreases the amount of time it takes for you to pull an arrow from the quiver and get it to the string. So on one handed, I recommend Armsman. Again, just five levels in Armsman. That's going to increase your dagger damage. I don't recommend any other perks for an assassin inside that area. So these things that I'm reclaiming, these perks I'm reclaiming, I'm, I'm kind of reinvesting them in some of my core things here. One of them I invested here in Alchemy, in Benefactor, and now that I've done that, I should be able to go in and, and recreate all of my smithing gear and actually get better bonuses on some of my weapons and armor. So here we are in Stealth. This is another one where I'm going to do some reclaiming. Just about everything here is great, but this perk here, Silence, is just not worth it. Really, this this perk applies only to the use of heavy armor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all of my perks from Stealth. I'm going to put all of them back with the exception of that one perk that I'm going to reclaim and spend somewhere else. So as we walk around here, you'll notice I haven't invested anything really in, in any of the, the magic areas at all. That could change in the near future, though. I'm thinking about doing some restoration. Since I am... Um, a vampire. There are some benefits to be gained by going, you know, down that restoration constellation towards Necromage. I'm sort of considering that necromagic type of thing. It gives some bonuses to those who are vampires already. So here I'm going to respec stealth. I'm taking all the five basic levels in stealth. And then I'm going to go up the all-important right-hand side, taking Backstab, Deadly Aim for the Bows, and Assassin's Blade, which is essential. That's going to give me that that times 15 damage. I'm taking Muffled Movement. That's great. I'm taking Light Foot to save me on some of the traps, and Silent Roll just because I use it all the time. So basically, I've put everything back with the exception of the Silence perk. So this is kind of how you want to spec silence. You really, it's vitally important. You want to get as many of those those critical perks there in silence as you can. Now I'm going to invest this in armsman. That'll give me a bump on the dagger damage. My thought is that at this point we'll see Centrosi getting a lot more kill cams um, from assassinations and so forth. So that's basically it. Um, it. It's really not rocket science. It's smithing, smithing, and alchemy, and enchanting, and then your core combat areas are going to be archery and stealth. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. You've been watching Death Mentor, an assassin's survival guide. Please rate, like, and subscribe. It helps me a lot. And you can get updates on this series on the website at couchwarrior.tv or follow on Twitter at couchwarriortv. Thank you.